Hi, my name's Katie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Senai, which is this neat little device. What it does is it measures the temperature, pH and ammonia in your tank and it connects to either your computer or to a web server that Senai sells. And what that will allow is for it to send alerts directly to your phone to tell you if there's any sudden changes in your pH ammonia or temperature. And it also allows you to monitor these qualities of your tank while you're away. So the Senai sounds pretty cool, right? But you probably haven't heard of it. Or if you have, you would notice that it's not really a common thing. Like it's not that popular or really talked about very often. So the reason is, is that there's a couple of downfalls with this that I found. If you want it to be able to measure pH and ammonia, you need to get these little things that are called slides that you actually insert into the Senai device. And these slides expire after a month. And the thing is, they're not cheap. They cost between 15 to $20 per month to buy, which is more expensive than a lot of subscriptions these days that you can get. So that's a lot of money to be regularly monitoring your tank, especially if it's not that necessary. The other problem is, is that it requires to connect to a server. There's two ways that you can do this. If you've just got a spare computer or laptop laying around, then great, because you can plug it into that. But if like most people, you don't just have a spare one of those things on hand, then it means that you would have to buy the Senai server, which is quite expensive. So that's gonna cost you between 200 to 250 Australian to buy. And that puts the price up quite a bit. I actually got this for sale for, I think it was $70. I do believe that they normally go for a little bit more than that, but the reason that it was on sale was because they just weren't that popular when I bought it. And I couldn't understand why when I was reading about it, thinking that it's such a cool device, that this is kind of the drawbacks, I suppose. This is the app that you can read when you're away. So you can download this on a mobile or a tablet or a computer. And it's gonna tell you the temperature, pH, ammonia levels. Um, if you've purchased the extra things for testing Kelvin par Lux, I hope I've said that right. Um, then you'll be able to see that there. And it also lets you know when your slide's gonna to need to be replaced. And it will naturally take a, an update about once an hour, I believe but you can manually take updates to up to 20 per hour by uh, just clicking this one here. You'll be able to see this on the computer that it's connected to. It just is a little bit more detailed. So you can customize this. So I've got, I've deleted the slides that have anything to do with lighting since I'm not using them. And I've got temperature. So if you have a look here, you can see changes over time when it takes readings. And you can get an indication of any changes that are happening throughout the night or throughout the day. Uh, you can also get readings like this too that tell you the exact value. It might just be easier than reading the graph. And it'll let you know your average temperature. Um, you can see on here as well that I did a water change yesterday and my pH went down to 8.1 and it has slowly been making a return to 8.2. Now, where I think that this could be helpful is if you did have to go away on a holiday and you weren't having someone look after your fish and you were using an automatic feeder, then you might want to just have this for peace of mind and you might choose to just buy one pack of three slides and use one for that month and then save the other two for if you go away again. And if you're going away, you might be able to have a laptop or something that you're not taking with you that you could connect this to. And then it's going to just allow you to know if there is anything urgent that happens with your tank. And then that way you could contact someone to come over and do anything that they need to and potentially stop you from losing fish. However, I guess you have to be realistic about the viability of this and the necessity as well and ask yourself, is it worth the money? And if there is a problem with my ammonia, can I actually get someone to come over and do a water change for me or find what's dead in the tank and remove it? You know, how many of us have people that we would be able to trust to do that with our tank? Probably not an awful lot. 
or you know if a heater broke and you had got a notification to say the temperature had gone down significantly you might also find that by the time you get notified of any of this stuff and get someone to come over and fix the issue it may be too late anyway and all that might happen is that it just ruins your holiday because now instead of being ignorant and thinking everything's fine and enjoying your time away, you end up feeling stressed out knowing that you're coming back to a tank of dead fish or that something's gone drastically wrong while you're away. One of the positive things about this thing is that it can detect changes in ammonia better than something like an API test can. So it's a bit more specific. So I would notice very, very slight, like 0.02 changes in ammonia when I would be doing water changes. Now again, the utility of that, I mean, it doesn't really mean anything to me to know that my ammonia is changing at such a minuscule level. I guess it was just interesting to see. And I don't know, you know, at this level of fish keeping, if that would be really that important to anyone. But I guess that's something cool that it can do that could be a positive. And I mean, it's more convenient than getting a API test out and testing the pH before and after a water change. But then also, is that convenience worth the amount of money? I suppose it would depend how rich you are and how much you don't like doing things that have lots of steps. I mean, I can definitely see the desirability for some people with this thing, and I could see its utility when it could be helpful. But I think it's important as well to talk about kind of the pros and cons and some of the draws back with this and the reasons why people probably don't use them that often. If you found this video to be helpful, let me know. And I'd love to hear from anyone who has anything similar to this or has used this before. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.